Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality, augmented reality and cloud computing. In this video, I am going to explain the concept of prefabs in Unity as well as how can we duplicate the objects using prefabs. Using prefabs, you can just make changes to one game objects and it will be reflected on other uh, duplicated instances of game objects as well. So stay connected till the end of this video and this series to acquire the complete knowledge. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So what is prefab? Well. There are times when you want to reuse a component in a scene several times so we can uh, you know either copy an object and create a duplicate of it but then you have to independently edit each of the object that is you have to make the same edits repeatedly for all the copies of or all the instances of that object or game object. So prefabs comes into picture in those instances. Prefab is an asset type in Unity which acts as a template from which you can create new object uh, instances in the scene. It allows you to store a complete game object along with all the components and its properties. So we generally create a prefab from an existing game object and can then use that several times in different types of scenes. So let's create a prefab of our cube uh, by selecting this cube first from the hierarchy panel and then dragging it in the assets folder down below. So we have now created a prefab of our, of our cube and it has been given a name cube here. So anytime we drag and drop a game object into the assets folder, a corresponding prefab is created right away. Now, in order to make use of this prefab multiple times in a scene, we need to focus on the next series of steps. So let's now create another uh, folder inside the asset folder by right clicking and then uh, selecting create and then folder and we will name this folder as prefab. We will then drag our cube game object into the prefab folder just like this. Now let's delete. Uh, this cube game object from the hierarchy panel. So let's select this cube game object in the hierarchy panel and press delete to delete it. Now drag this cube prefab from prefab folder to the hierarchy panel. You can see that there is this new cube game object now here which has appeared on the scene panel as well. Now let's drag another cube uh, prefab uh, from uh, prefab folder to hierarchy panel in order to make a copy of cube game object just like this. So now another uh, cube game object is created with the name cube one but you are not able to see the second cube on the screen because both of these cube uh, game objects are kind of overlapped due to having same position as 0 0 0. That is all the x, y and z axes have a value 0 for both of the cubes. So let's select the cube 1. Okay, we already have this cube selected. And on the scene panel, select the red arrow so that color gets changed to yellow. Now drag this arrow towards the left hand side. And we can now name this cube game object as cube left in the hierarchy panel. Let's create one more cube game object using prefab and we will this time move it upward. So create another cube and this time we will move it up. And we can name this cube as cube up. You can take a look at all the three cube game objects by clicking on the game tab. Okay, so click on game tab and here you can see that all the three game cube objects are present here. 
Now let's see the functionality of prefab. Let's change the material of our cube game object. Okay, so first come on to scene panel again and select the cube uh, prefab from the prefab subfolder. On the inspector panel in on the right hand side, you can go down to mesh rendered component here. And here you can see that there is materials option where we have this element zero section given here and alongside you will see a small circle here so click on it and select default material which is a white color you can see that material or color of all the cube game objects has been changed to default material or white color so this is how prefabs can be useful uh, to change the properties of several game objects at once rather than making duplicates of game objects and then changing their properties manually one by one for each duplicated game object. So folks, this is it for this video. To conclude, I explained what is prefab and how to make use of it in Unity to change the properties of several game objects at once rather than making edits in each of the copies one by one manually. So here is today's question. Why do we create prefabs in Unity? What are the benefits involved when creating prefabs? Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.